What is going on guys, it is Blink here back with a new guide. Now in this guide we'll be talking about riffs and a few extra tips. Anyways guys, let's get to this guide. The first thing we'll be talking about is the riffs and I want to talk about the best ways of catching your opponents out by surprise. So in this first example, you guys know that you don't need to pull your glider out while using a rift. Now depending on how low you are, it'll either pull itself or you might slam down to the ground. So the best ways of catching players out when they're up on mountains or high building tops is to not pull at all. This will allow you to slam down before your opponent notices and you might get a few shots in before they attempt to build or just get off an elimination because they don't end up building at all. The key is to not let your opponent know you're coming in and if you end up gliding down your glider will make noise notifying your opponents that you're coming down for a landing. If they notice early enough they might take shots as you're still in the air. Here's one more quick example of when your glider will auto deploy no matter what. So the key here is to come in super quick from the back. You want to stay far from your opponent until you get low enough. You stay far because your opponent won't hear the sound of your glider. Fly in fast and start taking shots. If you time it right, your opponent won't notice you until you take that first shot. These are super great ways of using the rifts to your advantage. So since we're talking about rifts, I want to give you guys one more quick tip. Some of the stone heads around rifts can give you up to 200 brick. Now the only one I know of is by Greasy Grove. Each stone head has a unique layout and the rest of them don't have that extra stone piece underneath. So if you guys head to Greasy Grove, make sure you hit the top part first because those are actually actually two separate pieces of brick. Breaking the top piece first will give you 100 brick and then you'll be able to break the bottom piece for another 100 brick. Just a super quick way of getting 200 brick while on the go. Now one last tip I want to give you guys is about self rocket riding. I'm not sure if you're able to do this method on console but I tried a bunch of methods and if you can master this self rocket ride by just jumping it'll save you so much time. You'll be able to use the rocket to get you into the circle every time. It's a great item to use to get yourself around. Although the most portable weight is by learning to be able to jump ride it without building anything. It's the quickest way of getting around although it might be hard to do at first. You simply want to run sideways and once you're ready add a sideways jump and once you jump shoot the rocket and you'll land on top of it. Make sure you're pointing it upwards after shooting it to avoid hitting the ground. I do want to know if this is possible on console so let me know guys in the comments below if you guys are able to get it done successfully. Well guys that's it for this guide, it's a little shorter but a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated as it does help me a lot. Anyways guys thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day and night and I'll see you on the next one.